My name is Camelia Akami Keys, and today we are going to talk about some of my crazy minor percussion setups. So many of you have seen my videos on Instagram where I'm using a conga on the side, I'm using a minor foot kibasa, I'm using maybe I'm sitting on a cajon, maybe I'm playing with a bass box. Uh, I've received lots of questions, and I'm here to help you guys understand how I come up with some of these ideas or concepts or what I'm thinking or hearing that's helping me create this very unique rhythmic sound, which I like to think of as my own Akami music. So this is the minor add-on conga, right? So what's cool about it, and this is what I'm using in the previous video when you see me hitting on these little castanets. Um, Minel did something really cool. They allow you to put Velcro on the back of these and it comes with this here and it attaches here, right? So you screw that in, bam. Now you can attach this and now you have access to another piece of percussion that you wouldn't really have access to actually attached to this uh, conga. So this is a a castanet and they were so cool they decided to put a little bit of a shaker in a castanet so this is a shaker castanet and this is a normal castanet but also velcroed so velcroed really well and uh, so yeah I have all three of these on there and that's what you saw me using in the previous video while I was hitting my stick playing this uh, playing the little minor timbal snare which I'll also show Put that in, and now you have cast nets right in front of your your conga. So here is the minor foot kabasa, and that is what I'm using in this video with the heel of my left foot. So I'm splitting the the foot kabasa between the heel of my left foot and my tip of my toe for the hi hat. So uh, kind of a unique way of playing it but that is what I'm using in that video and uh, yeah going back and forth between the cowbell that's attached to the hi-hat and yeah the bass box and uh, yeah this is kind of a really unique setup that I've been exploring and I plan to use on my next acoustic album. behind the scenes look at my setup. This is the cajon I'm using. I'm using minor foot kibasa. Okay. Hi-hat. Eight inch mini grab hi-hats. This is the Tim Bow snare. Okay. A lot of people ask me about this. What I did was I took this, came with this. So this hi-hat comes with four pieces. One of them I took off, put on this snare, and uh, I like the sound of it. A lot of people ask me about this attachment here. This attachment is what I am using to hold the snare. So now there is no snare stand. So when I pick up the hi-hat, I pick up the entire hi-hat as a unit. Here is the bass box. I love the bass box because it's similar to a cajon, but it comes with this nice metal bracket for your kick pedal, okay? And it comes with an awesome beater. Here is the kunga, and like I mentioned, I have uh, castanets attached right there. Tama cymbal stand, and this is a minor 20 inch vintage pure light ride. Okay, so this kit is awesome, and I love the sound of it. It, just playing something as simple as this has really helped me push my creativity to the next level because it's not a traditional drum set but you it's kind of it's kind of set up as one so here it is and the bass box 
conga, the timbal snare, cymbal, hi hat. There you go. This is a closer look at the timbal snare. It's eight inches. I have a circular piece symbol from the eight inch Benny Greb Crasher hats. So this snare is really cool. There is a uh, on and off, turn the snares on, turn the snares off, throw off on there. And uh, it's just a really simple design. There's no bottom head. And that allows you to attach it to any um, attachment, basically. So here I have an attachment to the hi-hat and I'm attaching this timbal snare to the, uh, the attachment. So super easy and it helps avoid having a snare stand if you wanna take that route. So I love this setup, I love the sound and it's, you know, really useful. received many questions on these hi-hats. These are the Minel 8-inch Benny Greb Byzance Crasher hi-hats. These are Benny Greb's, that's his little logo right there. These are his signature hi-hats. So they come with an extra one here, right? Um, and they're really intended to uh, just have uh, four, all four pieces. But what I did was I took one off and I put it on my eight inch timbal snare. And then I have here the attachment. So um, I'm pretty creative with <laughs> uh, some of the ideas that I come up with. Um, here is the cocktail jam kit. I'm in the process of putting a Evans EMAD on the, the bottom. This is the Tama Club Jam Mini, which means it comes with two drums. This kick drum right here, and then the snare. This is the Ride. This is the Byzance 20-inch Vintage Pure Light Ride. It has a wonderful, beautiful sound. As you can see, all minor percussion, all Tama drums and hardware.
Music is the universal language, and I quickly learned that while I was serving in the United States Navy. We could not speak the same language, but put a smile on someone's face by playing the drums. I make music to spread joy.